Hello there, my friends. It's January 6th, 2017, and it's time for today's big story. Oh, oh, oh new little intro. Got rid of that old one because it was garbage. That's because I made it. Uh, this new one's made by Dustin, a fan of Go Nintendo and obviously of today's big story. So thank you to Dustin for that intro. I will use it lovingly. And before we get into today's big story, I'd like to give a very big thank you to those of you who have subscribed as of yesterday and all of the really kind words I got on the uh, IGN PlayStation video rebuttal that I did yesterday. Uh, I was very close to not doing it. I wanted to make sure I did something that uh, addressed what I felt were some issues, but did so in a way that was respectful and not being like an asshole and saying like, these guys suck. These guys are dumb. What a, what a bunch of idiots. Like, uh, there's enough of that on the internet. I have no interest in any of that. But yeah, I was really close to not doing it. I was like, you know what? I'll give it a shot, see how it comes across. And you guys have been wonderful. So thank you very much for that support. I really do appreciate it. All right, let's get into today's big story. There really wasn't too much going on today. I was waiting around a bit to see if uh, anything bigger came out. But uh, I had one story that I found interesting that I thought you guys might uh, want to check out a little bit more in depth. And uh, that's what we're going with. So we're going to look at the data from Crunchyroll that shows what Wii U and Wii owners are watching on their systems as far as anime goes. I'm actually a really big fan of anime. Uh, I, I had always watched some certain anime over the years, stuff like Vampire Hunter D, and I'd seen Ghost in the Shell and things like that, but I didn't really get into all of what anime had to offer until about uh, the Fooly Cooly stage. And I caught it on Adult Swim one night, and I was like, oh my god, this is the craziest slash best thing I've ever seen. And ever since then, I really got into anime. I mean, I'll be very unprofessional and show you all that bottom right there. All Everything on the floor is all anime, and that's back when things came on these magical platforms called DVDs. And you got to, like, put them in a machine and watch stuff. It was amazing. I even have a... Uh, anime VHS downstairs, which even dates me even more, but yeah, I'm into anime. I haven't had the chance to like really watch anything in quite some time, but uh, I need to get back into it, and the way you do it nowadays is with Crunchyroll, so lots of Wii and Wii U owners are watching Crunchyroll on their systems, and uh, we have uh, the top 10 lists of what they're watching on Crunchyroll. So this is Crunchyroll's most popular anime by console compared to popularity across all consoles for 2016. We have at the top, Cute High Earth Defense Club Love, then Space Patrol Luluco, Ace Attorney, Sailor Moon Crystal, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Sound Euphonium, Brave Beats, Yuri on Ice, Utapri, and Kiss Him, Not Me. I've heard of, obviously, Ace Attorney and Sailor Moon and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Uh, Yuri on Ice is getting a lot of attention lately, uh, uh, and I only s shows how far behind I am on anime. I only just heard about it like a, a couple weeks ago, so uh, I've been reading up on that, and I'm really interested to check that out. And I, I just haven't had the chance to do it. But that is what your average Wii U owner is watching via Crunchyroll. Now, what about our friends that are keeping it standard deaf over on the Wii? Uh, Crunchyroll has put out their list of top ten. Let's see what those people are watching. At the top is Dream Festival, then Yuri on Ice. Cute High Earth Defense Club Love, Kiss Him Not Me, Sailor Moon Crystal, The High School Life of a Fudanshi, Ari Life, or Re Life I guess, B Project, Orange, and Tanaka Kun is Always Listless. What have I heard? Well, Yuri on Ice already covered, and the ones I covered. Man, other than the ones I've already said, I, I don't know any of these. I'm so far out of the loop. Uh, in the comments, let me know if any of these are good outside of what I mentioned, because I, I honestly have no idea what they are. The Ninja Dillo over on Twitter says, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Wii U owners have good taste. Now, I know that franchise has been around for a long time, and I have not seen a single anything of it. Like, I, I know what the art style is, but I've not seen a movie, I've not seen any episodes, I, I've never read a manga, I'm, I know nothing, and I know that I should probably be embarrassed about that. Uh, calling myself an anime fan, but uh, like I said, I just don't have the time. I, I, and when I do get the time, it's so overwhelming. There's so much out there that I want to see, and I'll read synopsis on stuff that I've never heard of before, and I'm like, yeah, that sounds really good, and then I make the mistake of reading something else, I'm like, yeah, that sounds really good too. <laughs> so I just have to pick something and go with it. 
All right, my friends, that's today's big story for January 6th, 2017. Thanks for watching and subscribing and liking and sharing and all that good stuff. Very much appreciated. And again, thank you so much for your kind words and your support on that video uh, I did yesterday, the rebuttal video. Uh, it, it's really outside of my comfort zone. Uh, it's not something I've ever really done on Go Nintendo before, but since I'm trying the new YouTube content, I figured I'd I'd go out there a little bit and see how it worked out, and I'm so glad you guys liked it, and I will definitely be doing more uh, whenever something hits me like that, wherever I see something or hear something, and I'm like, ah, I need to address that a little bit. So I'll be doing more of those, but I, really, I, I can't thank you enough for the support. Um, and uh, hopefully the next one lives up to this one. <laughs> uh, if you are around tomorrow, we'll be doing the Go Nintendo podcast. It's episode 595, I think. Uh, that records live 3.15 p.m. East Coast time. So if that's your thing, we'd love to see you. And if not, uh, I'll see you on Monday with whatever Monday's big story is. So uh, have a lovely weekend either way, and I'll be seeing you later. Hey guys, RMC here from Go Nintendo. If you like what you saw in the video, why don't you give us a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe. We'd love to have you. If you want to see what else we're up to, you can check out GoNintendo.com for 24-hour Nintendo news. You can visit us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash GoNintendo. You can check us out on Twitter at Twitter.com slash GoNintendoTweet. And we're even over on Instagram at Instagram.com slash GoNintendo. I put all the links in the description just to make it easier for you guys to follow. Thanks a lot.